Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. <laughs> my name is Lakasa and welcome and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> in today's video, you guys, in today's video, you guys, and in today's video, you guys, <laughs> I am trying to do like a vlog style type of um, video showing you guys how many products I have. Like my product stash and I have my products in different areas throughout the house and I want to get them into one area of the house. Um, some of you guys may know, some of you may not know, but I am getting together a room for my filming room, my YouTube studio room, whatever you want to call it, and I want all my products in one area. So yeah, so today I am going to be showing you guys where my products are. And then I am going to be uh, centralizing, is that a word? I think, think that's the word. All of my products to one main area. So if you wanna see my product stash, then just keep watching. Okay? Okay! <laughs> Okay, so first we are going to, I'm gonna show you my product stash. And then I am going to go and put my hair in a puff, you know, make myself look a little bit more presentable. Yeah, I, I don't know, I might. <laughs> All right guys, so this is my office that I work, like I work from home. So these are the products that I have downstairs. Curl boxes, just some other boxes products that I need to go through, all of that. And then, you guys, I have products upstairs in my bathroom. Okay, so, and then here's some, there were some more products that I, that should be in my bathroom closet that are not. And those are my deep conditioners, or some of them. And then, yeah, these drawers here are full of products. Full of products, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's get into the consolidation. And as you guys can see, I am sweating. <laughs> this big old pile in the floor, the big old pile is the one from downstairs um, in that cube, in those cubes that I showed you earlier. So being a product junkie is not for the week, you guys. It is not for the week, okay? And to be honest, if I didn't do content creation, I probably would not have all these products. Uh, I might, I might. Let me stop telling that lie. <laughs> Let me start to that lie. But, yeah. So, I am going to go and eat me some lunch because I am on my lunch break. And then I will come back and sort through all these products. Some of them may be going in the trash. I may give some away. I don't know yet. I have to see what I got going on. Let me go find me something to eat for lunch. Okay? Okay. All right, guys, so I'm about to eat me some lunch. Yeah. 
Monos curls, and then we have just some miscellaneous shampoo. So, uh, renewal argon that's probably gonna go in the trash. This right here, cream of nature, is the bomb shampoo. It is, it is the bomb. I'm gonna keep that one. This is some purple shampoo that I'm gonna get rid of because um, I am slowly but surely cutting off those blonde ends. This Maui moisture shampoo, I don't, I haven't really used it. This thermal wonder. I haven't really used it. Going in the trash. This right here is just a neutralizing. This right here is just a neutralizing shampoo. I am definitely going to keep that. And then I have my Suave Daily Clarifying Shampoo. And I'm definitely going to keep that. I have my clay mask. You guys know. I do this every now and again. I'm going to keep that. And then I have the Gabrielle, Gabrielle Union Leave In Conditioner. It was all right. As you guys know, if you have not seen the review, I took majority of those products back. Then we have the Miss, what is it called? The Miss Jessie's. We have the Super Sweet Treatment, which I have not used, you guys. We have the Honey Curls. I have used that. We have the Pillow Soft Curls. Uh, the Lotion, I have used this. We have the Leave-In Condition. I have used that. And we have the Jelly Soft Curls, which I have not used. So, a lot of these products I haven't used, but I'm going to need to use them, okay? So, next we have the main choice. And we have the, this right here is leaving, this is going in trash. I, I barely use it. This right here is empty, but it's one of my faves, three in one. Then we have the extra, we have the metabolism line. We have the shampoo, the conditioner. We have the leave-in. We have another empty three-in-one. So that is going in the trash. We have the, what is this? Uh, Four-leaf clover mask. I didn't like that, so that's going in the trash too. And then we had this mask from... The tropical tropical moringa line. I like that. It's all right. This right here is the super whole type four and proud perfect blend. I really think that it did its job, but I've had this for a few years, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that too. Then we have the ancient Egyptian leave in lotion. Um, I think that's old, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And then we got the pile leave in. If you guys have not seen my review, go check it out. Then we have the Metabolism Design Gel. I have a review on that too. And the Treatment Mask, which I have a review on that too. Then we have the Ancient Egyptian Gel, but um, it's not really much in here. So, this right here, y'all, is one of the first gels ever that I ever tried from them. Look at it. I've had this thing for years. It's going in trash. It gave me flakes anyways. Then I have the Main Choice Gelato Gel, which a lot of people talk about. And I can't wait to try it. I haven't tried this yet. Then I have the Pow Gel, which is one of my favorite gels from them. I have the Pow Hair Mask, which was all right. I'm going to keep using it. And then I have the tropical, the, the pearly braid glaze, and I'm going to keep that. This right here is fairly empty, but this is the 
maintain and deep strengthening and restore mass treatment. I think they have it in another container. They've changed how it looks. And I had the tropical Malanga shampoo, conditioner, and oh shit. And three in one. This one is not easy. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let's move on to some more products. So. Alright guys, so we are going to go in with the Cantu, or this is a Kilo Thought product, why is that over here? Alright, we're going to go with Cantu. So I have the Curl Activator, which I thoroughly enjoy. I have some gels from them, which I thoroughly enjoy, and I have um, reviews on all of these gels. I have the Coconut Curling Cream, which is my fave. Coconut Curling Cream, which is my fave. I have leave-in conditioner, which I like the coconut curling cream a little bit better than I like the uh, leave-in. Then I have the Great Seat Mask, which was trash to me. I did not like it at all, so I think that it's one in trash. Then I have the Define and Shine Cluster. I have not used it, but I definitely want to give it a try. I have the Flat Seat Cream Gel. I enjoyed it, but it just didn't give me hope. It didn't clump my curls the way I like it to clump my curls, but I'm definitely going to keep it for now. And then this is an oldie but goodie. The Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. I like that. And um, this Curl Stretcher. I think it, I mean, I liked it. it. You know, it gave my curls a little definition, so I, I really did like this. And so next, we have Shea Moisture. And we have the one 10 in one renewal. If you are an old time um, Shea Moisture fan, if you are an old time Shea Moisture fan, you know exactly what this is. And there is really nothing in here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I need to finish that up. I have the Strengthen and Restore Mask, I have the Nourishing Repair hair mask which is not a lot in here but I, I really like that one as well and then I have the curling gel souffle but honestly uh, I think I've had this one right here for some time now so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one but I have another one that I have another one that uh, Miss Shirley sent me so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one and then I have the anti-breakage strengthening mask. This smells so good. Okay, and repair protein power treatment, which I really like a lot. I have the silicone, I have the silicone free miracle styler leave-in, which is one of my faves. And then, then I have the leave-in, the Maruka, the Maruka Honey and Mephora or Intensive Hydration Conditioner. I really like this too. I have the shampoo from that line. I have another shampoo from that line. It was one point in time where I was really using this really heavy. Um, and then I have the deep conditioner from this line, which I really like. I think I talked about that. I have the Curl Enhancer Smoothie, which is an OG, but one of my faves. I have the Power Greens Restructure. I have a review on that. One of my faves, I have the Strengthen and Restore Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. I have the Power Green Shampoo. I have the Restorative Conditioner, which I'm probably gonna throw in the trash. I have had this for a long time. I used to just use it on my daughter's hair because it didn't work on mine. And then this is the Retention Shampoo. As you can see, look at it. You can tell this is old. So that is going in the trash too. Um, this is a newer container of the Curl Enhanced Smoothie. So I have two of those. And then I have the Curl and Gel Souffle, which thanks to Miss Shirley. Um, I have the Leave-In, the Jamaican Black Cast or Leave-In and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. A fave, a fave. And then I have the Shea Moisture Smoothing and Repair Blowout Cream, which is going to go in the trash. It was a great product, but I have had this for years, so I'm pretty sure it is expired. Um, expired. Expired. So, yeah. I don't know. 
don't even know if they even sell those anymore. And then I have the Power Greens Hair Tea Rinse. I did not like that. That is going in the trash. Another Power Greens Restructure. Um, Shea Moisture Mango and Carrot Kids with the Nourishing Conditioner. Trash. <laughs> Then I have the Purple Rice Water Strength in Color Care Mask. Keeping that. I have the Strength and Grow Restore Edge Treatment, which I'm sure is old and expired. This is going in trash as well. Um, I have a No Rinse Foam Cleanser, which is going in trash. I have Scalp. Uh, Tension and track tension and itch relief serum. I think I have used this a couple of times, but mm, they didn't do much, so it's fun and trash. And I bought this. I can't remember if I used it yet or not, but it is the Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter Curl Stretch Pudding. I have heard some good things about this, so I can't wait to give it a try. Then I have the um, Raw Shea. Butter Extra Moisture Detangler. This detangler is the truth, you guys. It is the truth. If you have not tried it, it is the truth. So, yeah. Alright, next I have some products from Mazzani. I have the 25 Miracle Cream, which I really, really like. This was sent to me in an influencer box, along with the Mazzani Texture, True Textures, Perfect Coil oil gel and the uh, nourishing oil so next i have some travel size products from meech if you have not tried meech you definitely need to give them a try guys so i have the quench uh hydrating and twisting butter i have the strengthening deep conditioner I have the Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. I like the Strengthening better, but all of these products are definitely moisturizing. I have the um, Hair and Scalp Oil, which I have not really used. I have the Leave-In Conditioner. I have, and I also have the Shampoo, which I might be able to get one more shampoo out of this. One more use. Next. I have Nature's Little Secrets, which um, they have changed their branding, so their products no longer have like this type of papering or packaging on the outside. So yeah, so this is a deep conditioner I have not tried. I also have the Milk Strengthening Deep Conditioner that I have not tried. I also have the uh, Mixed Fruit Nutrient Rich, Rich Deep Conditioner that I have not tried. <laughs> Um, I have the Avocado Moisture Cream, which I have tried and I definitely liked it. Then I have the Banana Leave-In Conditioner that I have not tried and I cannot wait to try. I have the Fenugreek Detangler pre I have the Fenugreek Detangler Detangling pre -poo. And I liked it. Um, it's, it's, no, not really different from the um, As I Am and the African Pride, so not unless you just crazy about fenugreek. Uh, then I have the Irish Moss Styling Gel, which I have not tried. Um, avocado already did that. I have the Cucumber Shampoo that I can't wait to try. And I have the black seed curly custard and I really like it that's very moisturizing and then lastly I have the herbal uh, hair and scalp oil so I have not tried that either next I have the Kenya Moore growth repair shampoo conditioner and deep conditioner enjoy these products like I can't you know I can't knock them I, I really enjoy them next I have the lemongrass leave-in conditioner I have the super twisting butter super twisting butter 
And then I have the uh, Hold and Style Gel. So, yeah, I have not tried those products either. I have some products from Texture ID. This is the uh, Leave In 3 Times Moisture Cream Conditioner for Sunny. Or what I was going to use was the Leave In. I have the Self Heating. Um, my hands getting tired. I have the Self Heating conditioning mask which is not self-eating at all I have the styling cream which I have not used but I plan to I have the deep treatment mask which I have used I have a review on those masks on my channel I have the dry hair and scalp relief soothing hair mask So I have the moisturizing leave-in conditioner. I have the styling gel, which I really, really liked. And then I have the moisturizing gel. Then I have some As I Am hair products here. I have the restorative and repair co-wash. I have the, which I have tried. I have the olive oil and tea tree oil dandruff co-wash. It's my favorite. I have the double butter cream, which is very moisturizing. I have the soothing gel, which I have not tried. I have the classic leave-in conditioner. And I can't wait to try it. Because it looks like it may have some things that the original does not have in it. Like the, uh, this one. This leave-in. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. It just, the, the packaging is different. So. So then next I have the Sotanicals Hair healthy hair milk I have the butter shampoo I have the uh, not butter sprout and twist out cream then I have the super pro and Bunu hair grow so yeah next I have allocate naturals I have the moisturizing black shampoo and if you know then you know okay if you know then you know then I have the allocate honey and sage deep conditioner I'm not a real real big fan uh, it's all right I, I just couldn't get right with the smell I don't I don't I just I don't know why I just I just couldn't <sighs> and then I have this right here peppermint snaps from eco slate I, I thoroughly like this shampoo too this is shampoo I, I like it too all right and so then I have some products that I received in a curl box from Dr. Miracles the leave in cream which I have not tried I have the, I have two of those. And then I have a hydrate and strengthening deep conditioner. And I have the nourishing, nourishing and styling gel. And the uh, restore hair and scalp oil. I also have some blue magic hair grease. Oh, yeah. Um, some other products that I received from a curl box are these are all gel controls. I'm not gonna go over all of these, but just know that these are gel control, gel edge control, whatever. Um, then I received some products from Aveda in my curl box. So I have the conditioner, I have the shampoo. I have the leave-in conditioner. I have the pre. What is this? Light moisturizing. I don't know. This is shampoo too, but it's in a smaller container. Then I have the multi-use oil, and I have the another small shampoo. And then these, the ones that I, the these other Aveda, I bought these for like when I flat iron my hair. Smooth Infusion Styling Cream. I like the I like that. The shampoo. Um, the mask. The conditioner. And the some smoothing fluid lotion, which I really like. So, like I said, that is like when I flat iron my hair or blow out my hair so then I got on the train with the emerge from Target 
this is the leave-in. I actually like the smell. Some people said they did not. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I have the buttercream, which I thoroughly enjoyed as well. And then I have the deep conditioner. So we are going to um, look at all my gels. I was going to do Camille Rose, but my gels are up here. So we're going to look at my gels. So I have the Extreme. I have the Labella Max Hold. I got this from Target and I have not used it. I have Eco, the White, which I'm probably going to throw away. I have the Eco, Eco Super Hold Olive, which I thoroughly enjoy. I have the Eco Argan Oil, which is meh. This right here is not even a gel. It is a concoction of oils that I made when I did my um, hair growth challenge. So. Then I have the Eco Styler in the blue, which for my hair, I feel like the blue gives me more of a hold than the white. I don't know, it's, it's weird. Then I have the Brown Ampro. Then I have the Eco Black Castor and Flaxseed. I have the Edge Booster, which I have not used. I have the Olive Oil Eco. This one is empty. And then I have the clear ampro gel which is one of my favorite gels if you have not tried it you are missing out okay okay so let's kneel down and get started with the camille rose i have the coconut water penetrating hair treatment i have the coconut water style setter i have the coconut water penetrating hair treatment another one so i have two of those then I have the Coke Camille Rose Almond Dye Twisting Butter. I have the Curl Maker, which was one of my first gels that I ever, 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 ever tried. I have the Spiked Honey Mousse, which I like. I haven't done a review on it yet, though. Um, that is that. Um, I, bought, had, I got like a little package. This is the Sunday Glaze Leave-In Conditioner. And then I have the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse, which is a great shampoo. I had a whole bottle, but I used it. And now I have the Clean Rinsing Moisturizing and Clarifying Shampoo. And I think I like this one a little bit better than the uh, than the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. Then I have the Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment, which I have tried that before. I really like that. I have the Camille Rose Aloe Whip Butter Gel. I have the Camille Rose Dane Scenes Moisture Max Conditioner. This is very, very moisturizing, you guys. So, yeah. I have another bottle of the Curl Maker, which I think is very, very old. So, this is going in the trash. And I think that is it. Oh, and then I have this Honey Hydrate, you guys, that I just tried, like, two weeks ago and this is the bomb if you have not tried it you need to give it a try if you have not seen the review on it go check my review out and then i have some products from the dollar store that i bought these were a dollar shea butter leave-in conditioner i have the curl stretch cream i have the deep conditioner i have the deep moisture shampoo and honestly for these products to be from the dollar store they did pretty good now to Carol Starter, I have the Manoy Repair Sweet Sealer. This is a old, old, old product, so it's going in trash. I can't really test to whether it worked or not. I don't, I don't think it did. Then I have the Wash Day Delight Water to Foam Shampoo. Um, the only thing I liked about this was how it felt on my scalp. It is um, cleansing. It is cleansing, okay? Stripping. Then I have the Sacred Tear Anti-Breakage Anti-Frizz. 4-in-1 Calming Cream. I like the smell of this, but it is old. It's going in trash. I've had it for a while. I used to have leave-in, which I really like. Then I had the Cocoa Cream Curl Perfecting Water Cocoa Mist. I don't feel like it did much for me, so this is going in trash as well. Then I have the Curl Shaping Cream Gel. Now, I like the way this left my hair feeling, so I'm definitely going to keep that. The next product collection that I'm going to be looking at is the Kansas Beauty, the Full Bloom Deep Conditioner. I did not like it at all i have the amplifying shampoo which was um cleansing stripping for me i have the flu full bloom hair follicle booster which was also cleansing and then i have the conditioner 
which I don't feel feel like did much. So I have a review on those products too. Um, I would not repurchase any of those products, but teach his own. Go do your research, you guys. You, you might like it. You might like it. So then I have some Lustrous Pink products. So these products, um, some were sent to me. Some I got in a curl box. I did not go out and buy any of this one. So I have the moisturizing hair milk. I have the moisturizing smoothing conditioner. I have the shampoo. I have the smoothing conditioner. So I have two of those. I have shampoo. So I have two shampoos. <laughs> then I have the super moisturizing curl definer. I have the gel curl activator. And then I have the defining gel. So yeah and then they also sent me a oil moisturizer you know they took it way back way back i have the lush growth oil so i can't wait to try that and then i have the true shine oil mist and i can't wait to try that so next we're going to go in with the cream of nature a lot of this is going in the trash because a lot of this is old but i didn't want to include it in my stash i have the hydrating curling cream which i have not used which is old um, and when I mean old, I mean like it's been in my stash for like three or four years. So yeah, I have the Butterlicious Curls Curl Hydrating Cream, which is old. I never got to use that. I have the Co-Wash, which is old. I never got to use it. I have the Curl Activator Cream, which is old. I never got to use it. Isn't that just a shame? <laughs> I have the Pre-Shampoo Detoxing clay mask now i thoroughly enjoy this clay mask i really like the shampoo from this collection so if you have not tried that shampoo go give it a try and then i have the uh cream of nature with argan oil perfect seven now, i don't like this leave-in but it's old so i am going to get rid of it but i really i really did like it and i have the pure honey twisting cream which i'm going to keep i have the moisture curl um hair milk which is old yeah i just be throwing away money y'all it's crazy then i have the shrinkage defense curl activator i want to say i use that and i like that and then this the tangler right here okay this twisting cream and curl activator was sent to me and they curl in a uh influencer box including the detangler which i really didn't wasn't too fond of it was all right but it wasn't all that uh, the strength and shine leave-in conditioner is old. It was all right too as a leave-in. It's all right. Nothing spectacular. Um, then I had the cream of nature mango and shea butter ultra moisturizing leave-in conditioner. I really did like this, but like I said, it is old. So I really did like this. All right. So the next collection that we have is the Maya Organics. As you guys know. I was a brand ambassador for them. The program has ended, you guys. And this is why I have so many of their products. <laughs> because they would send us products to pretty. So let's get started. So I have the Curl Refreshing Spray from the Palm and Honey. I have the Twisting Souffle Shampoo. Leaves in a Curling Smoothie. I have the leave-in conditioner, another leave-in conditioner, the Magongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner. I actually bought this on my own. It is a great protein-free deep conditioner. Um, I have the Itch Relief Gel. I have shampoo, curl refreshing spray, coil sculpting custard, avocado moisturizing hair milk. This is if, if the Camille Rose milk milk does not work for you try that milk it is a great one i have the clay mask which i was not too fond of i have the edge gel which is old so that is going in the trash i have the coil sculpting custard edge gel twisting souffle uh coil sculpting sculpting braid gel we got the miracle rx hair butter we had the conditioner we have the leave-in conditioner i have the shampoo um my yell rosemary mint hair mask gel gel curling smoothie conditioner 
the bodysu mint and deep conditioner one of the one of the best deep conditioners in my opinion for a first time natural beginning natural whatever it is great for um protein moisture balance um then i have this con this conditioner i have this styling gel you guys look at it it's, you can tell it's old like look at the color so this is definitely going in trash it didn't give me enough hold anyways but yeah scalp treatment i have some scalp drops which is main choice and need to be with main choice uh co-wash <clears throat> one of the first first co-washes i ever tried and it's one of the first curl co-washes i ever tried and i really like it conditioner then just some loose packet of stuff deep conditioner from the new collection and i really like that deep conditioner oh uh, i got some foaming mousse light hold conditioner shampoo i have the new mousse which i have not tried yet and i can't wait to try it and conditioner then back here we have ors we have the hair mayonnaise this is a great 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 protein treatment this is a great protein hair mask great great um i have the rs hair repair banana and bamboo ba <laughs> oh, i got to sit down you guys okay so i have the hair repair banana and bamboo nourishing condition i have not used it but i i can't wait i've heard some good things then I have the ORS Scout Rescue Detox Shampoo. I have not used it, but I can't wait to try it. I have the um, conditioning cream. And then I have the Detox Mask. And then lastly from ORS, I have the Smooth and Hold Hoodie, which is one in trash. It's a great product. It just, I've had it for a while. So next I have products from Unicurl. I have the shampoo. I have the styler. I have the gel. I have the leave-in. And I have the deep conditioner. And the only two products that I have tried from this line is the deep conditioner and the shampoo, which I thoroughly, well no I didn't, was the deep conditioner, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Next, I have my favorite brand, you guys, Curl Smith. I have the Curl Conditioner Oil and Cream. I have the Deep Quencher. I have the Stimulating Booster, which I have not used. I have the uh, Elixir. I have the Hydro Cream Smoothing Mask, Soothing Mask. I have the Hydro Gel, Hydro Style Flexi Gel. I have the Weightless Air Dry Cream. I have the Feather Light Protein Cream, which I really, really like. I have the InStyle, the InShower Style Fixer. I have the Bond Curl Rehab Style. And then I have the Detox Microbiome Scalp System, which comes with three products. Next, I have the um, Briozio products. I have the I have the charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo, which I thoroughly enjoy this shampoo. I have the Be Gentle, Be Kind avocado and kiwi mega moisture superfood mask. I have the Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask, which I really didn't like. I have the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Which was all right, not for how much I paid for it. These are just samples of the other of the two deep conditioners that I just told you about. Other little packet, and then this this is the shampoo. I have deep conditioner somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. Anyway, I have some products from Uncle Funky Dar. I have the intensive hair mask. I have the. Miracle Moisture Cream. I have the Extra Butter. I have the Leave-In Curl. I have another Leave-In. 
and I have the curl stimulator. I have Woe from The Dupe. I have Bit Papa, which is the gel. Woe is the deep conditioner. And then I have the texture foam, which I really like those. And then I was gifted some products from a lady who um, does bedroom candy, and she gifted me shampoo, uh, styling elixir, and uh, the conditioner. And the, these two products are just skin, like a whipped butter body, um, whipped body butter, and a moisturizing oil spray. And then those right here are just edge controls, uh, grease, different things like that. So I'm not gonna go over those. But my fame was the style factor. Um, I am now trying out the kiss. And I also have the do, which I really like too. Next, I have the TGIN. I have the Miracle Pollen Gel. I have the CPR treatment. I have the curl food. I have the buttercream daily moisturizer. I have the hydrating hair mask, the twist and define cream, another butter, daily moisturizer, honey miracle mask. I have the green tea leave-in, which was a which is a favorite of mine. Rose water leave-in, and then the gel from the rose water line. But I really love the CPR treatment. One of my faves. Then I have two products from Adore Beauty. I have the deep conditioning leave-in, great products. Those are just color, you know, color treatments for my hair. I have Pattern Beauty. I have the uh, treatment mask, which is the bomb. Leave-in conditioner, curl gel, styling cream, shampoo, and the uh, intensive conditioner, which I thoroughly enjoy. It's deep conditioner. I just order in deep conditioner, so I have the Novex which I have not tried yet. I have uh, Garnier Fruit Tea. I have three of these. And my favorite one is the Papaya. Uh, I have the Silk Elements or Moisturizing Treatment, which is the balm. Um, I have Sauce Deep Conditioner, which, um, which, was, which was requested for me to do by one of my viewers, and I have not done it yet. So swag. I have the macadamia deep conditioner, which is all right. I have the curl and hair curl pot, which is all right. I have the joy cold K pack, which is all right. Saw that on the Glam Twins. Uh, this came to me in a curl box. I have the Afro Sheen Crown Defined Curl Cream. I have the creams, cream styler, and then I have the texture setting cream gel, which is one of the ones that I, I like. That out of the three products, I like that one the best. Then I have some melanin, uh, long lasting definition twist elongating style cream. I have the the multi use and the oil. I like all of those products, but I haven't really been doing twist outs like that. So then I have my trusted SD pre poo treatment just for me in African Pride. I like this for me just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. These right here are old curl, um, diva curl products that are old but really hit. The Believe In was the bomb. The Art Angel Gel, the Art Angel Gel was the bomb. Uh, mirrorless curls and then super cream. Um, I think that I'm gonna repurchase some more Diva Curl products, even though everybody else has canceled them. I don't care, it is what it is. Uh, I have aloe vera here. This right here is a box from Olaplex when I did my bleaching the first time. Uh, then these right here are just products that I use when I blow dry and flat iron my hair. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, one of my favorite products is this right here, the Bamboo Kennedy Oil Dry Oil Mist. Oh my God, y'all. 
It smells so good. I don't even know if they still have this available, but I bought it from Ulta and it is the bomb. Um, the blow dry spray by Kimra is the bomb too. The bomb diggity. Um, this right here is the bomb too. The pure algae leave in. I use this as leave in when I blow dry my hair. And then the chi silk infusions. So yeah, a lot of these probably like the John Frieda and the Garnier Fruit Teas, they're old, still probably going to the trash. Um, these right here are products that are going in the trash, coconut oil. I don't know if you guys use mixed chips, but when I first became natural, mixed chips was like big. The Ozzy Moist 2 products, great detangling products. I love them. Yeah, so then we got some sprays over here, like oil sheen sprays. We have Aunt Jackie's, which I have the gels. I have the gels, intensive sealing. I have my fave, which is the um, quench leave-in conditioner. If you have not tried, you need to give it a try. Then I have Talia Wajid leave-in, great products. And then we have TPH. I have a review on these products and I thoroughly enjoy them. I got Gemini Naturals, colors. Yeah, so I got two colors in leave-in. And then we have some living proof products. I had a shampoo, the conditioner, the humidity shield. This right here is the bomb, the nourishing oil. I don't even know if they still say the nourishing oil, but it is one of my faves when my hair is flat iron. Uh, I have some Dove products. But honestly, I have not used them. They came in a curl box. I have a even body work hydrating custard. I thoroughly liked it. Then I have the all natural pudding souffle, but it's old, so that's going in trash. I have some suave products. I have the uh, detangler spray, the defining shell serum gel, and a leave-in conditioner. Uh, what else? These products right here are just my hair, I, like my coloring. When I color my hair, we have bleach. We have a uh, developer. All right, you guys. So that was my stairs. Over 500 products. Hurt. I'm too old for this man. I'm trying to see. So, yeah. If you have not done so, you guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Down below. Also, while you're at it, make sure you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Okay? Okay! <laughs> Give me a big thumbs up, you guys. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my stash. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Share this video out, you guys. Sharing is caring. And until next time, I'll holler at you guys for peace out.